Hello chessmates, welcome to Chester Place and our topic for this video is the original immortal game between Adolf Anderson and Lionel Kisiretsky that was played at London at 1851. Adolf Anderson is known the strongest player at 1851 to 1865 era, which was later replaced by Wilhelm Stenitz at 1866. The game started and Anderson played pawn to e4, Lionel replied pawn to e5, and here uh, Watt played f4 which is called the King's Gambit. The well, the well known player Playing this opening is world champion Magnus Carlsen against GM Wang Yuan of China, which won in the ninth endgame. Going back to the game after f4, Black replied e captures the f4, which is called the king's gambit accepted. And Wang played bishop c4, just a developing move. Black played queen h4, king to f1, which is forced. And here, Black played the interesting move b5. The idea of this move is to free his bishop from c8, going to bishop b7. And the idea is to target the opponent e4 in a long diagonal directing to the king, preparing for a mate. Some there is a chance to make it. And here, Watt played bishop b5, capturing the pawn. And Black played knight f6, this is a developing move instead of bishop b7. Watt played the developing move knight f3, re queen retreats at h6. Watt played d3, knight h5, uh, preparing to go at g3, forking the rook and the king. And what prevent it by playing knight h4? So, uh, knight g3 is not possible here, that's why black played queen g5, targeting the bishop at b5. Anderson protected it by playing again knight f5, which is a good move. Black played c6, targeting the bishop again at b5. Uh, for me, this is a bad move because uh, it is restricting the bishop on c8 and the knight on b8, going to bishop b7 or going on the center at knight c6. I think uh, the better move was bishop b7 at the c6. So back to the game again. I played the aggressive move g4, which is a good move. And black played knight f6 instead of capturing the bishop on the 5 So white played a good move again, the rook g1. The idea is giving the bishop on the b5 just to play the h4, queen g6, h5 targeting, which is queen g5 is forced for black. And queen f3, developing move, targeting the pawn on f4, preparing to capture the pawn at f4 by a bishop, and knight g8, making space for his queen. Uh, look at the position, and that position is uh, very good for white since uh, 1, 2, 3, developed for white, while black has only queen developed and put it on g5, and according to theory, it's not good because uh, the theory says don't make unnecessary moves. Especially queen at the opening, just develop your knight before the bishop. Mm, that's sub something else. And the game continued. Wap played bishop captures f4. And this is forced a queen f6, targeting the pawn on b2. Knight c3, developing move. Bishop c5, targeting the rook on g1. Uh, which is a desperate move, and I think it is a good choice for them. Knight d5, a good move. It is a good move because it is outposting his knight on b5, which is this strong square for his knight. And still, queen e, the black queen is still hoping for a win by a material. He captures the pawn on b2. Why played the good move bishop b6? The idea is restricting the black king at f8 and making uh, creating a mating net for black. And here, why played black played the move? Bishop g1, hoping again for a material advantage and get a win. And still, what managed to create a creative position here, and it is a white to play a uh, must win position because white is disadvantaged on material. Uh, I will say it white to play and win, and I will give you five seconds for you to think what Anderson played here. And here, right? What played pawn to e5, which is good move. The idea is restricting the queen, protecting the pawn on g7. And here, the queen is doomed, and he played queen captures the rook at a1. And what played squash king e2. Knight a6, a desperate move again because. There is no uh, definite plan for black to play this position. So, what played the knight g7, the idea behind the e5, and the force move is king d8. And here again is a uh, make in 2. And I will give you 5 seconds again to analyze and give 
or post the, the post the video and give me the comment or comment the answer below. Let's start now. All right. So the correct move is Queen F6. Check. Deflecting the knight on G8, protecting the E7 mate, and so the, it is false knight takes F6 and bishop E7 is mate. And it, it is called a mortal game because look at the position. Uh, the black king is mate on the center and only three minor pieces: the bishop on E7, the knight on D5, the knight on G7. And the year 1851 is so early for them to create such a imaginative position. And congratulations to all the other sons for making a history for this. Uh, chess. And that's all and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting videos and thank you for watching.